Right now, the search is on for the man who broke into an auction house in Sperry. The whole thing was caught on camera. Deputies say he stole about $3,000 worth of stuff. News on 6's Amy Kaufman is on the story tonight. Amy. Well, Brian and Terry, this is the a second time that someone has broken into Miller's auction house in the past two months, and the owner tells me that he just hopes people will stop trying to break in to a business that he's worked so hard to build. You just feel violated, and you feel like, what, what can I do for protection? You just come to a point, you just almost give up. I mean, because I don't know what to do. Edgar Miller says his dad opened Miller's auction services in 1952. <laughs> He says they've had trouble with thieves before, but after being broken into twice in two months, he doesn't know what more he can do. It's bound to be planned out. It wasn't just something, just random type things. Ten days ago, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office says a man wearing a hoodie and a ball cap climbed through a window to get inside the store, then walked around for about an hour, stealing several items along the way. He looked around, was looking for specific things, so it's someone who kind of knew what they were doing. He had a flashlight and he was shining around on about everything as he... Uh, maneuvered his way through here. Miller says the suspect got away with some amplifiers, musical equipment, tools, and much more. We had a, a commercial chainsaw and two other chainsaws here. Uh, had a commercial weed eater here. It's a horrible thing because it hurts those who own those, those items, those who worked hard for those things. Miller says his store may not be the most organized, but every item inside has a purpose. And even though he may never get his stuff back, he just wants to find who did this. Anytime you're stolen from or something in your place of business or home, it's a psychological trip, you know, but you get over it. I mean, you just, you just have to pick up a piece and go. Now, if you recognize the man in the surveillance video or if you know anything about this crime, you're asked to call the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office at the number on your screen. Live on the scene, on the story from the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office, Amy Kaufman, News on 6.